Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Irish Donna Tarot. My name is Donna and we are looking at new love for Pisces and we're going to pull a Romance Angels card for the overall energy in your reading, Pisces. We have let go of control issues, allow the situation to unfold naturally. All right, so let's look and see, let's shuffle. We're going to get three shuffles for Pisces for new love, the energy of Pisces for new love. Right. one more shuffle for Pisces. Hope everyone's doing well. Thanks for stopping by. Let's cut the deck and see what we have for you, Pisces. Let's see. We have the Devil card. All right, so the overall energy in this reading is one in which, you know, you want to feel like you're in command of your relationship. So Devil Energy just says that you certainly um, are looking, or you're going to get the energy of somebody who is a very sexy devil, very literally. Okay, so Pisces, you have fire in your belly. You are attracting a Sagittarius person at this time. Somebody who's a lot of fun, very lively, very energetic, and somebody who truly wants to work on a relationship with you. So you do have fire in your belly and you're attracting a like energy. Right now, we see the energy that you are holding back a bit. You're going to take a wait-and-see attitude about anyone who comes into your life to, you know, make sure that they are on the right page with you. You are attracting an Aries energy. Uh, so this is Capricorn energy, Aries energy. Somebody who's very sexy, who's a lot of fun, who's good in business, who uh, they might be self-employed. Your person is someone who is... Uh, very much all about sort of let, like, let's do it. Let's get the job done. Somebody who is exceedingly energetic. How you are viewed at this time, Pisces, you are seen as very proud and somebody who's very attractive, someone who brings a lot to the table, Pisces. Very fiery, though. You may have some fire in your chart, but you're attracting a very strong Aries and Leo energy towards you right now. People who are very passionate are coming your way at this time. Look at that Hierophant. You're very, very much in your belief system. You know exactly what you want. You know what to go for. You're attracting like energy again. Somebody who's very stable. I really feel with this uh, fixed sign energy of Taurus that you have with Leo energy, you want someone who doesn't ever waver. You want somebody and you're attracting someone who is going to come into your life and want to build something very stable, in very much a long-term commitment. Your person is oriented towards, you know, really building something of substance. Pisces, you have a soulmate, somebody that you may have known in the past, somebody who is may, may have been a friend, but somebody's returning to your life, somebody you haven't seen in a long time. Beautiful Scorpio energy. We'll see what you think of that, but they are definitely a person who's coming in. They would like to grow old with you. They're very attracted to you. We see you in this hidden energy of being very thoughtful about what you want, Aquarius energy, very detached. You're certainly not in the energy of wanting to sort of put up, you know, you're not going to suffer fools, as they say. You definitely want passion, but you also want someone who's grounded and uh, someone who is hardworking, but not controlling. And so we did see that let go of control issues is a feature, you know, something that's mentioned here, but that can also mean someone else's energy. A lot of times, People who are like, very much like yourself, Pisces, very giving, very loving, can attract into your life people who want to, you know, come in and take charge. I don't see you willing to let that happen. The Two of Cups, Spirit is saying you're going to find a perfect partner this month, somebody with whom you have a lot of love, a lot of passion, but also a lot of stability with the fixed signs. We have the, oh wow, Pisces, look at you. You are, you may meet somebody at a wedding, 
but I'm really seeing that you are going to enjoy this Aries energy, a fresh new beginning with someone who is marriage minded. You have two marriage cards, somebody who wants a future, someone who wants to have fun, someone who wants to enjoy all the, the, the celebrations of life with you. So let's look and see what we have to clarify the energy here. Let's see, Pisces, tell us. Let's tell us more, Spirit, about Pisces and what is going on uh, in their love lives at this time, the energy that they are attracting. So let's see, let's pull three clarifiers for the top. Ooh, somebody who's very sexy, somebody who's just out of a relationship. So one of the people that you're going to attract and you're going to defend yourself against player energy because you're not going to put up with that. But I see the energy, Pisces, that you are going to attract someone who is um, maybe from a different culture, different country, Sagittarius energy, somebody who may be in and out. And I'm not seeing you putting up with that energy. If they're passionate and they come towards you but they're stable that will work otherwise it really won't you are very intuitive right now you are very very attractive you are attracting like-minded people so i see you attracting possibly a virgo who's very stable who's been single for a long time somebody with whom you feel as though they can read your thoughts like they seem to understand you without you ever speaking a word very strong cancerian and virgo energy let's see what we have here about this desire to be with someone attracting someone who's a very strong business person somebody with whom you could have tiki torches starry nights someone with whom you could share your emotions in a beautiful relationship. You may really decide that an Aries person is going to be the person that you choose. You will keep your options open though and let whoever this is prove themselves to you because the fire sign energy for you Pisces is a little more unpredictable and you look like you may have had some sort of history with a fire sign that didn't work out so well. So you're going to be very cautious in what you choose, but there you go. You are very empowered at this time, Pisces. To You have the courage, you have the strength to make the perfect choice for yourself about love. You're going to be able to pick the right person without a doubt. Nobody's going to get anything past you, Pisces. You are super tuned in. Why do we have the Leo energy here? Well, you are going you are definitely standing in your power you are definitely um, really looking for answers about your past but really moreover what you want you want to be able to be with someone with whom you can travel the world somebody who is on the same page and that is who you're attracting you're attracting uh, a strong aquarius energy somebody who's very responsible uh, and look at this, we have the Hierophant, the Taurus energy with traditional marriage, and there is Empress energy. That is a manifestation of a single love that will take you through your life in a happy, beautiful way. You're willing to go slowly in the dating situation, and you're just not going to talk to anybody about this. It looks Pisces like you're gonna keep this person to yourself, you're not going to, until you have a committed relationship, it looks as though you will keep this lovely person uh, as your sort of private uh, relationship. And you'll when, it, when the time is right, you will announce them to the world. But right now, while you're going through the courtship, you're going to be very quiet, very focused on just one. Why is the Six of Cups here? You are going to have to choose between two people. We see two options coming in, someone from the past and someone who is new. So you will make a choice. You'll, you know, you're gonna leave someone behind because you're looking for a committed relationship. The Death card, yep, there we go. So you're going to close out a cycle right now, Pisces, of being with someone Pisces, here you are in your energy. There is someone from your past that sort of haunts you, but it is a good reminder of what you want and you will not fall into that energy again. 
I see you with this six of coins. You're really going to check people out carefully, see what they're really made of, see what they can give to the relationship. Again, we do have two suitors, at least for a period of time while you, you know, while you date and get to know them. But I see you focus mostly on this this energy of uh, the person who's coming in. This Empress energy seems unmistakable. This is pre-Empress. This is Empress energy. And you have the courage to, to make a choice very quickly in this situation. You want the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. The minute anyone says anything to you that's untrue, you are history. The Two of Cups, you really... What I'm seeing here for you is that you want someone who's emotionally available, but you also want someone who is um, someone who really isn't in this weird mood, you know, somebody who's not manipulative. Because it looks as though when we look at the Two of Cups, Spirit is recommending your, your, uh, it could be, I started to say twin flame. It could be your soulmate or twin flame. But we see that, you know, you're really tired of people. You're tired of anybody that is going to be drama. You're not having any drama. You want your soulmate. You'll have your soulmate. But the energy that I see is that you're going to study them carefully. And you're going to make a very grounded choice of stability with someone who has Scorpio energy, someone who has emotion, but has it very much, they're level-headed. This is a person, instead of, I think, somebody in your past who was very dramatic with you, you're really going to choose, when you choose this person, you're definitely choosing the person who has their emotions, who's faced a few storms in their life, who've captained their own ship beautifully, this person is beautiful energy, Scorpio, very comp compatible with you, and it looks as though you will choose that, that energy of somebody who is very grounded, loving, emotional, and stable with you. I love the energy, Pisces. Thank you for joining me. If you liked it, please subscribe, like, and share, and uh, comment if you'd like to support the channel. Thank you.